I'm Richard Hill, uh, 33, almost a master. I own Gritstone CrossFit. Um, I compete at CrossFit, but I just enjoy training. And I'm a dad, Samson. I found myself in a position where I unknowingly was suffering from depression and anxiety. Uh, I just assumed that that's just how you feel sometimes. It got to a point where the realisation struck that this wasn't just feeling sad or down or struggling to get out of bed in the morning. It was something to take care of. Um, so obviously like you've got to do a few things. One of the things you've got to do is go to a doctor and speak to the family and things like that. But the other thing to do is address like my gen general health. And uh, for me at that time, like I really struggled to connect my emotions together, but I still had quite a good kind of thoughtful process about like analyzing things. And it made sense that if I was unwell to get well, which meant I started having a sleep time, I had to go to bed for eight hours a night. I started eating my calories and macros accurately, and I started training for an hour every day on the basis that even if I didn't necessarily enjoy everything I was doing, like health is health, you know? So training has got to be a part of that, CrossFit's got to be a part of that. Um, when I came back from Afghanistan in 2014, my friend had died in a helicopter crash. Um, CrossFit had helped me then, and it had helped me in terms of like camaraderie, being a mat around people, getting the fun back into my day. And this time it helped me in terms of quite literally just getting healthy. I think I feel like I'm in a really good place. And I feel like what I'm up to now is, as I say, like the next step is embracing it, not in a, in a cheesy way, but embrace it to the point where I accept that that is me. And it's good, and we're all good. I don't know if I can give advice so close to the problem, if you know what I mean. But what I could say is that if I was to go through the same problem again, it'd begin with just remembering that activity brings positivity for everything. So getting out of the house, good start. Getting amongst people, next good step. Getting your heart rate up and you're breathing better, another good point. Muscularly, feel better. Even if you can't like feel happy about it, you can at least see the satisfaction involved in going out and doing something that you know is innately good for your body. I've put two or three posts on about my uh, experience with depression on social media and the last one I did was talking about uh, the, the tablets that I was on, which is something not, not many people talk about. And the reason I put it on was for other people to understand that it's something that you can say and not be embarrassed about, but also I had to prove that to myself because I am embarrassed about it. I don't like it and I don't like having anything that scares me. So the best way of, of, of addressing things that scare you, if I get scared in the dark, I turn the lights off and stand around in the dark for a while. If, I, if I'm scared of a person, I'll go and fucking confront that person, excuse my language. But in the same way, if I'm scared of these tablets or the, the stigma that comes with having taken them, then I'll put it on social media in front of 15,000 people and then put the big finger up to it, you know. Initially, it was a struggle having, I know this, I don't sound like an egotist because I'm not, what I'm saying is, there was like hundreds of messages in my inbox, private messages from people who'd connected with that. I just took a couple of days to go through each message, read it, understand what they were saying and try and give them something back. And I responded to every single message because every person who sent me a message cares about me. So every message needs a reply, you know, it really moves me. To embrace the weakness is, is to kill it. And I know it sounds like a really macho response, but me and my dad were talking about this. I don't want to be scared of anything. Um, I never have done neither Eve, and I think that like it's quite emotional, but like I'm still scared of that, and uh, like I just have to keep attacking it, facing it, until I'm not scared of it anymore. Because I'm not going to be an adult. I'm not going to be. A, I'm not going to be a father to my son. He's scared of things. My dad wasn't scared of anything, you know, and I won't be. So all I've got to do is, you know, look at that point ahead, address it, like grow from that and then look at the next point ahead that I have to look at and face that head on as well. And in that, in that constant process of, of, uh, of challenge and overcoming is growth. And eventually, hopefully I'll be this uh, dad who isn't scared of anything.